Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey folks, welcome back to another project for our altered book. I want to make sort of a mini explosion booklet to go into the book. So I have cut myself already uh, two pieces of a lightweight cardstock uh, in black. Uh, it is three and a half by ten and a half but you have adapted the size to your book. You have to make sure that it fits in your book and you may have to make sure that the pictures you want to use go on your mini booklet. As you can see, I have also have some fabric and right here you can see I have my sewing machine already. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to score my paper and then I'm gonna, hmm, maybe I'm gonna sew first. Maybe I'm gonna sew first. I think I'm gonna sew first. So I'm gonna sew first. Okay. Uh, I do use the papers from Graphic 45, any uh, nature themed butterfly, insects, whatever you want <laughs> to use would work. So I'm going to put that aside and start with cutting my fabric or better I again I'm going to tear it because I like the teared edges. And I think, do I want it this way? As you can see, exact measurements, no, no measurements, I just eyeball it. I'm gonna cut back off the, I have sewed on, so that's why I don't mind the overlapping fabric and again I have my usual um, multicolored thread which is actually an embroidery thread but as I said in, in other videos you can use any sewing thread instead that works fine too I just want to get rid of those thingies here <laughs> do I do zigzag or I think I'm gonna go for a zigzag and my zigzag is going to be half on the paper and half just on the fabric, at least if I can help. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the second piece and then I will be back. As you can see here, I have already cut back. That's what I'm going to do here now too just leave a tiny bit because I want the frayed edges. Sometimes I use a needle to get into the threads. It just makes the process a little bit quicker. And those ends there are sewn in so I have to cut back those. Now I do score it at three and a half and I make sure that I have the paper right to the edge. So I'm going to press it a little bit because the fabric is slightly larger. slightly to accommodate the, the, the space that the fabric needs. So the question is, 
do I glue it or do I sew it? I think I'm gonna sew it again. I think this time I'm gonna go for a straight stitch but just to be on the safe side I do add a little bit of tacky glue. Just making sure that I don't put it where the needle's gonna go because we don't want glue on the needles. I'm gonna go uh, along a second time but this time with a large stitch. Go slightly outside from where I have been. Now comes the part where we choose our pictures. Kind of like this part for the middle. So I'm going to bring in my paper cutter. And I want it like three by three. decide where I want to put it. I'm going to double up those sides and again I'm using the glue stick. Now I want that in here. I'm going to cover up and I'm actually not going to cover up this this part. I'm probably going to paint in at one point something here. So I'm only going to cover up here but I'm not sure. I think I'll go for the green. I'll go for the yellow, not for the green. So I need, I make it slightly smaller than the page itself. It is five and an eight, so I'm gonna make, cut it five by seven three quarters. This time I'm gonna use the tacky glue. generous with the glue here because I want the fabric to soak in and hopefully glue the paper to the fabric a little bit more too. I'm making sure that it is in the right direction. Okay, looks good to me. gonna again put the on some heavy white so that it gives a good adhesion. Okay it is nice and dry now so that's what we have for this page. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope to see you soon again. Take care, bye!